Thank you. Lovely moment. Carlo, we've got uh, a few questions for you, but I believe you'd like to say uh, a few no. words before then. Yes, thank you to UEFA for this award. I have, um, I think, what, what a night. I said tonight, I said this a lot of time last <laughs> season, what a night in the, in the, in the last 16, the quarterfinal, in the semifinal. I have to, first of all, I have, I have the possibility to thank Sarrigo that was uh, a fantastic teacher at the start of my career. I have to say thanks to a lot of people, my players. I have to say thanks to my club, my staff. I have to say thanks to our supporter for our amazing night at Santiago Bernabeu. I have to say thanks uh, to my president that gave me the possibility to return to Madrid. Uh, at the, the end, uh, I, I hope don't forget anyone, all my family, my wife, that gave me, gave me the space to do my job, my son and assistant, Davide, my daughter, Katia, and then uh, Conchita, Chloe, Angela, <laughs> Anna, <laughs> Nino, <laughs> uh, Alessandro, <laughs> Andrea, Aurora, <laughs> Leonardo e Lucas. Ok. <laughs> I, have, I have five grandchild and so... <laughs> It takes a while. Uh, Carlo, you, you've been obviously at the top of the uh, football world and European football for so long. You won your first Champions League as coach in 2003. You win another one last season. This longevity and this winning attitude, what's the magic formula for you? And how do you pass this winning attitude to, to your teams? Well, magic formula, personally, the passion that I have for this sport. Second, quality of the players that you, <laughs> that you have to manage. The last season was a, a special season because there was, a, in the dressing room, a fantastic connection be, between the experience of the veterans and the energy of the younger. We were able to have a good connection there. And then, after that, the fantastic chemistry into the stadium with our supporter that uh, helped us to reach an unbelievable achievement. Freshman. Carlo, I want to ask you about... Question. Yeah, I want to ask you about one player in particular who's really thrived under you two particular phases of his career, Karim Benzema. I mean, he has been a central figure for, for a while in attack, but he's played alongside other key players. This season was really all about him. He scored 15 goals en route to the final. How impressed are you at how his individual game has evolved? Well, really impressed. I think everyone in the world was impressed about the performances of uh, Karim. Karim is, a, is not only a striker, he's not only a top scorer, he's a fantastic football player. He plays football really, really well. And after that, he supports this with great attitude, day by day. Um, compared to, to the last year, I think in this year he improved his knowledge. He knows really well the game, how to manage the game, the time of the game. And um, his leadership. He's a strong leader in the dressing room. He's a good friend of mine. This is important. This is not the reason because he's going to play. <laughs> he's going to play because he's the best. Yeah. And that's it. We are lucky to have Karim. Yeah. Team. Everyone at Real Madrid thinks that we are lucky to have Karim. We have to say football is lucky to see Karim play. You know, but you say that you are... Yeah, we are absolutely. You mentioned that you are friends with Karim, friends with, you know, the other players. They speak so highly of you. Everything I hear from the outside, we all hear, yeah. is that the players love playing for you. How do you foster mm. that sort of environment? <sighs> I think it, it, to have a good relationship is really important. A relationship based on their aspect is very important. Sometimes the fact that you have to choose players uh, to put on the pitch or on the bench affect a little bit the, the, the relationship. But I try to, 
to explain them that there is a player that, and there is a person. I am, I am not a manager. I am, I do a manager. It's my job. I am a person. And the player are the same. Wow. Amazing insight here on, on stage from Carlo Ancelotti, one of the greats in, in European and world football. Congratulations again to you, you, Carlo, also to Serena Wiegmann for winning Gracias. the men's and women's coach of the year.